Hello everybody and welcome to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX Demo. <clears throat> so, sorry about that uh, throat clearing, very very sorry about that. Um, but, so this game came out a couple years ago uh, and I have recently been on a big kick playing through a lot of the old Mystery Dungeon games and figured why not play through this whole demo on a video because I do not have this game yet I'm, uh, I'm I'm looking at it I'll probably be picking it up pretty soon um, but yeah maybe once I get the whole game we can do some shiny hunting in this game because I know that's a thing and I'm kind of interested in shiny hunting and mystery dungeon but anyways let's go ahead and get right into this so if nobody if anyone here has never played a mystery dungeon game before they are quite different from your main series Pokemon games so, first thing we need to do is take a little personality test to see what character we get to be. So, <clears throat> let's see. Human hand extends out of a toilet. What would you do? Um, not gonna lie, I'd probably scream and run. <clears throat> let's see. Do you feel lonesome when you are alone? I mean, I feel like it's kind of... Uh, you know what? It depends. I kind of wish there was a depends. I'm gonna go with no. <clears throat> Let's see. Friend is being bullied. What do you do? Uh. Hmm. Probably heckle him from behind, honestly. Let's see. Get the feeling you've slowed down lately. Huh? A little bit. Not gonna lie. A little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Forks to the left and to the right. Told there is a treasure on the right. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna go with this, honestly. <clears throat> Let's see, is that it? Nope, a couple more. Let's see. Do you like to imagine things for your amusement? I definitely did a lot when I was a kid, so I'll go with yes. <clears throat> Noisily enjoy yourself with others. Sure, yeah, that can be fun. Alien invasion, what will you do? <laughs> I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> uh, I will play as male, please. Alright, let's see. What does it give me, and do I agree with that decision? Relaxed type. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. What is it going to give me? On tempo, live in a relaxed, unhurried manner. Think that's happy lifestyle. <clears throat> Surprisingly popular, thank you. Vacant stare into the distance. Special pulse rays. Okay, can we get to who it is? Oh, here we go. Huh. Okay. Uh. No. I don't really want to be a Psyduck. Um. I would prefer to be Eevee. <laughs> um, do I want to be Eevee though? Because I'm. Hmm. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. Um. Machop could also be kind of cool though. You know what? Yeah, let's play as Machop. <clears throat> yeah, I think Machop is going to be cool. And I do like the idea of having Psyduck as a partner, though. So I will pick... Or Cubone. Hmm. Psyduck or Cubone? Who sounds better? Um... I guess Cubone. <clears throat> yeah. All right. They can be male as well. And I'm going to name him... He's going to be Bob. There we go. <clears throat> yes. And there we go. And then I can name myself in a little bit. Uh, don't worry about that. Yes, that is who we're going to go with. Cool. Alrighty. Now, we get into the little intro cutscene, now that we're out of the way of picking our character and our partner. Where am I? 
Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice coming from somewhere. Or from somewhere, sorry. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake. Great. Ugh. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Bo. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Huh? You're saying you're a human? But you look like... a normal machop in every way. It, it's true. I've turned into a machop. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... I am... Crispu. I've been playing through all of the various Mystery Dungeon games with the team... Whoops. The team of... Crispu and Bob. So, that is what we're going with for this as well. Oh, Chris Boo's your name. Well, it's a funny name. Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible. My caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened up in the ground and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I get my baby Pokemon suddenly attacked me. When I went to get my baby Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure or out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I going to- what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. It sounds bad. We have to go help. You all like my voice acting, by the way? <laughs> I decided on the spot that I wanted to just voice everything, because these games are very story-based, so I figured I'd read everything. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It's a mystery dungeon! Oh, I forgot to mute my phone. Can you stop? A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon attack or Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Crispo. Alrighty. Uh, you know how to play a late game, don't you worry. Oh, it shows you all of the Pokemon. Interesting. Alright, where are my moves? What I got what I got from moves. Oh right, I forget that modern mystery dungeon games let you just auto select all of your moves right that's amazing okay hold on i wanna can i look at my moves at all i'd like to know what they do and what moves do you have uh yeah 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 let's see um i know he can keep all his moves on we're fine we won't mess with that too much okay let's see I know, I know, I got it. There we go, let's see. Well, bullet punch. Pretty good damage, brutal swing. Ooh, that brutal swing is nice. The fact that he can reach from behind me to clean things up, that's really handy. Okay, <clears throat> that's annoying. Okay, that's handy though. I don't have anything I can hit that with from a distance. Because <clears throat> none of these moves reach, I don't think. They don't look like they would reach at all. Little swing. No strength. Ooh. Did some big beefy damage. Alright, let's see. Keep on exploring. I like- oh, here we go. I like this uh, combo of uh, Machop and Cubone. <clears throat> I think that's going to be a very useful combo. Because what's nice about this demo 
as most modern demos allow you to do, is <clears throat> you can transfer your save from the demo to the real game. So, I'll hold on to this save, and then once I get the real game, uh... Oh! Oh, interesting. That- I forgot about this. This was a new feature added to, uh... To this game, I think. This might have been in Super Mystery Dungeon as well. Oh. May have been in Super Mystery Dungeon as well. I did not play much of that game. Um, and unfortunately, my cartridge for it just doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. Very sad. Um, oh, that's my stomach meter. Dude, can you get out of my way, though? <laughs> I love that Brutal Swing can, like, reach like that. Oh, finally. Okay, let's see. Where's everybody going? Oh, right, right, and the wrong button. Um, yeah, we'll keep going with this. I forgot about the, like, increasing, uh, effect for, like, using moves multiple times. I did play Gates to Infinity, <clears throat> which I think that was... N no, I was totally new to that game. <clears throat> because it wasn't in, um, any of the other games. What was this? Okay, Max Ether. Interesting. In the older games, it's only max, um, elixirs. There is no max ethers. There we go. I'm gonna turn this on to just zip back over here. I kind of like that auto mode. <clears throat> oh, they even go directly to the stairs. That's very cool. Very cool indeed. Wee! Mommy, where are you? Sniffle. <laughs> we came to rescue ya. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Ooh, I like this end screen. My baby's safe. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Bob. And this is Crispo. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me. Adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Bob and Crispo. I know it isn't real... It isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Got Tiny Reviver Seed, Pesha Berry, 500 uh, Poke Yen. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're really tough. I'm sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Listen up, Chris Boo. If you don't have a place to stay, you could come with me. Should come with me. Well, this is the place. Whoa. I can't explain it, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. I might It might be an instinct thing for the Pokemon, but this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Machop. Oh, Crispu, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Crispu. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. You know, just like that Caterpie fell into the fissure. For some reason, there have been many natural disasters lately. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so uh, so all Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh... Well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? Crispu, with you, I think we could be... Ah, I think we could be the world's best rescue team. How about it? Perfect, that's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Chris Boo. Glad to have you. 
the team name, well, I don't have one yet. So, Chris, what do you think would be a good name? What is that horrible generic name? No, thank you. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna go with the name I go with for all of the, oops, all of the other saves. I've used the same name for all of them as well. Uh, let's see, and then, oh, that's not what I want. Let's go to this, no, this, there we go. Gotta get the little Pokemon E with the little, oh, oh no, okay. I'm glad I noticed that, there we go. Oh, come on, I'm gonna use the D-pad instead, there we go. All right. Little janky menuing out of the way. Yeah. Yacht Corp. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to wear this on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. Crispy put on the scarf he got from Bob. Looks great. You wear it at well, Crispy. Don't you don't you feel focused like we're on the same team together? Rescue Team Yoke Corp. Let's do good, starting tomorrow. I love that you actually visually see, like, the, the scarfs on them in this game. That's so cool. And that is how... Crispu and Bob began their careers together as a rescue team. There we go. So there is more to the demo still. <clears throat> Surprisingly, this demo is quite long. Uh, we can do the whole second level as well. So, yeah, pretty excited for that. The next morning. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Machop. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Bo? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Bob is doing. I should go out. Ooh, smacked my desk a little bit. <clears throat> Just sleeping on our doorstep. <laughs> huh? Oh no! Ah, sorry. I was so excited I came out here at dawn to wait for you. I must have snoozed off. Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But, um, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh yeah! Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Bob checked the mailbox. The mailbox contained rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be in there. It's the rescue team starter set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. Bob opened the starter set. So there was a rescue team badge, toolbox, and Pokemon news inside. Yes, there are some good things in here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is a toolbox. It's useful for carrying items you find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. It's a useful resource for teams. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not. Bob checked the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail. But nobody knows about us since we're such a new team, I guess. Ha ha ha. Flap, flap. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Excuse me, I need a quick sip of a drink. Oh, I see. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? Crispy read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and now Magnemite and Magnemite stuck together. There isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite's friend. 
What do you think? Do you think we should go? That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Okay, so after this level is where the demo cuts us off. But I do think we get a little bit more story aspect. Oh, you are <clears throat> Oh, you are here. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends should be on floor B6. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Please help them. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Thunder Wave Cave. Let's do it. Alright. Ah, yes. We can zoom around. Ooh, nice. An apple. Use that to fill up the belly. The whole toolbox going. We don't have anything that I could throw. Move diagonally over here. Lock onto you. Let's karate chop. Very nice. <clears throat> Zoom over here. Whoops. Okay, he picked it up. Good enough. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Let's go. Uh, what do we want to do? Strength, probably? Ooh, this does, yeah, that does a lot of damage. Very nice. For some reason, I thought that was like a pick... A rock I could pick up. I'm not really sure why, because it wasn't on the map. <laughs> I really like the art style for this remake. Okay, two enemies sleeping right next to each other. If you face multiple enemies, retreat. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. We don't do that here. Let's go for a brick break. Yeah, it does way more. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know how mystery dungeon works. Don't worry. <laughs> Just wanted to, I, I really wanted to replay this demo and figured it could be a cool thing to do for a video. And then literally on the moment I decided, hey, I'm going to voice everything. So I hope everybody's been enjoying my goofy voice acting that was literally on the fly. So, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's zip up here. Take you down. I, yeah, I know how things work. Alright, very nice. Alright, so we got to go to B6. Okay, I get it. What? Are, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not like that he went off on his own like that to grab that item. That's not cool. I don't like that. Uh, I probably don't even really need to waste a proper... Oh! Okay, that just did brick break. Interesting. Okay. That's different. I didn't know that just attack... Uh, hitting A would just use the last used attack. Oh! Uh, okay. <clears throat> nice leveled up but I have not that's cool not <laughs> uh, let's see I still haven't leveled up why did he level up so much faster than me <laughs> all right there we go grab the item over here I kind of want to fight that enemy that's trotting around because I, I want some XP I don't want him to be ahead of me. That's not cool. Can you stop? I don't want you to be getting all the XP. I want some. How am I still? <laughs> Why does Machop level up so slow compared to uh, Cubone? <clears throat> oh my God. What is going on here? This is what the Wonder Tiles do, by the way. They fix your uh, stat decreases. <clears throat> Why did he level up so quick? I don't like that he leveled up so much faster than me. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. How do I look at, uh, this? Um, okay. I need four XP. Very cool. What about... Okay, yeah, so he just levels up way faster than me for some reason. That's cool. Don't <laughs> really understand why that happens. Alright, but there, now I've leveled up as well. Alright, cool. Nice. I'm not gonna read their leveling up and, uh, <laughs> bits, because those aren't really important. I'll read, like, actual story bits, just because these games are very story-driven. I suppose I don't really need to explore the rest of this map area. There's no items, so... We've already found the stairs. I could keep fighting these enemies, but... At this point, I'm not too worried about it. 
Also, you, all, you gotta be careful that you don't run your belly low. That's what that, um, that circle that says 48, that's my belly meter. If my belly gets too low, I'll start taking damage, um, from hunger. So, yeah, you wanna make sure you don't let your belly meter get too low. There's a lot of things to, like, juggle in these mystery dungeon games, but they're very fun. Highly recommend uh, at least playing this demo for yourself and seeing how you like it. Because, of course, the demo is always free. <clears throat> oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. Successfully cleared Thunder Wave Cave. Our bodies separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice. Bzz, 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 bzz. Yay. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Be careful, you two. You are our heroes. Thank you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Got a big apple, orange berry, and 650 Poke Yen. I'm glad our rescue mission went well today. Actually, since this was our first job as a proper rescue team, it was I was really tense and nervous. I'm exhausted now. I've got to go get some sleep. Let's keep up our good work tomorrow. See ya. Mm. Where? Where am I? Maybe... Is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm, I can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what, it, what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Crispoo checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Crispoo. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox. So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? There's nothing? Hmm, I suppose that makes sense. We've only started after all. Well, too bad. Wanna go to Pokemon Square? I think we sh I think if we go to Pelipper Post Office, there'll be jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over this way. Let's go. Alright, cool. I wasn't- I couldn't remember if we could actually go here during the demo or not. This is Pokemon Square. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. You can save your Pokey in there. And this is Gulpin Link Shop. Gulpin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. I think you should ask Gulpin if you want to know more. This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You should store important items here before you go out to a dungeon. And over there is Makuhita Dojo. At the dojo, you can learn or get training on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think? The businesses here help us. Oh, and there's also the Pelipper Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get some information on rescue jobs. Let's first go to the Pelipper Post Office. Cool. Over here we go. This is another store that opens up later. It won't open up during the demo, unfortunately, but that's okay. That building is the Pelipper Post Office. I love the, like, half 
2D, half 3D art style in this game. It's so beautiful. This is where information is gathered from the Pokemon needing rescue. See? <clears throat> See? Have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Alright. Ooh, cracked my thumb. Oh, that felt nice. Uh, let's see, we got a two-floor quest on Tiny Woods, then we have one on two-floor, three-floor, and four-floor of Thunder Wave Cave. So, this is what I like to do, is I like to take, when I have multiple in the same place, I like to pick them all up, and then I'll accept them all. Okay, they are, okay, this game automatically accepts them for you, which is very nice. So, now, we have three jobs all in the same area. See? There were jobs listed, right? To do a rescue job, choose the job, and then go to the dungeon that's indicated. You can go to the dungeons by taking the path near the base. Since we're just starting up, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Our team name will get better known by doing that. I think that will bring job offers to our mailbox. Alright, cool. Now we have three jobs picked up all at Thunderwave Cave. So, let's see. Let's check out some of these places here first. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that felt nice. I'm going to deposit all of our money into the bank. Ooh. And we got an apple. Cool. Uh, and now we'll come over here to Kangaskhan Storage. And let's start, let's store some stuff. How do we sort that button? Perfect. Okay, let's see. I don't think we need th three apples and a big apple. We definitely don't need this many of those. We definitely don't need that many of those. Alright, there we go. Put all of that stuff away. Perfect. Very nice. And then I suppose I'll, I'll comment on the purple Kecleon. This is only in this game. And it's the coolest thing ever. I don't know why <laughs> they didn't put this in any other game. Um, but, yeah. Ooh, I like how the TMs look in this game. Alright, cool. Let's head over here. And I'm going to... You can enter the dungeons from that road. Once we've received the job, let's go to the dungeon and solve the Pokemon's troubles. Alright, now I'm going to come in here to the base real quick, because... Oh, can you not... Oh, wait, 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 this game auto-saves. Right, I was going to say, can I not save at the bed? But this game has auto-saves. Alright, let's see. We'll come down here. And... Ooh. Oh! Interesting. This is not a feature I'm used to. Unfortunately, we don't have anything going on there. We have three quests going on here. So, let's head here. And we're going to do all three of these quests all at once. So, it looks like we get a little bit more to this uh, this game. I think after this is when it cuts us off. Because I think after this day is when it unlocks the next... Um, what is it? The next like story area, which we can't go to. We do not have access. The demo does not allow you access to the third story map. So, very unfortunate, but at the same time, it makes sense. It is just a demo, and there is a large amount of uh, content available in it. So, can't be too greedy and ask for too much more. Okay, I do not like pushing you around, so <laughs> let me switch this so I am facing the right way. <laughs> okay, so we had one on what? Okay, dungeon messages. Aha, we've around we've arrived on the destination floor. So there are the stairs right there, and as you see, I am going to actively avoid the stairs because I don't want to go to the next floor. I Okay, cool, love that. Oh, cool, nice. Cool, very nice, thank you. Okay. Let me fix my attack. So yeah, we don't want to go to the next floor. We want to pick up these items. Thank you. I, I do kind of like that they 
that the teammates go and grab items. That is kind of helpful. Yeah, we want to come over here to this Ella kid. And we want to talk to him. And this completes the job. But now the very important thing that you want to do is he'll go back to the post office. The rescue team badge will yeet him out of here. But now we do not want to escape. Now we want to go over to the stairs. And that will allow us to continue exploring the dungeon. And we can go to the next floor where we have another uh, job. And then we do that again on that floor, which allows us to go to the next other floor where we have another job. And then that, after we finish that third one, when it asks us, would you like to leave? We can just say yes, because we've done all of the jobs. Oh, perfect. We spawned in the room with the target in this this one. That, that happens sometimes. Sometimes, like in the last one, you spawn in the room with the stairs. Let me do that. That's that second job completed. <clears throat> nice. He'll go back to the post office. Very nice. And then we would not like to leave. We would like to stay. Take you out. Thank you. Let's fix our stats. Oh, I don't know why you walked all the way over there to fix your stats. <sighs> Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go for... Strength is about to level up, so let's keep using that. I really like that I... I'm glad I picked Cubone as my partner, because him having Brutal Swing is so nice. Alright, grab that, grab that. Into the next floor. And now on this floor, once we finish our job here, we can actually just let it... Uh, well, let's... Hold on. Let's, what we're going to do, we're going to go around the long way, because we want to grab all those items first. Because if we let it, if we allow ourselves to just leave immediately, we won't have the chance to pick up those items. So let's pick up all of the other items in the area first. Fix our stats. Very nice. Alright, I'm going to head to you out. Nice, strength was upgraded. Uh here. Is that a big apple or a regular apple? Okay, just a regular apple. Looked a little different than the last one, but I guess I just wasn't paying that much attention the last time. Alright, and now we'll go down here. And this way. Oop, there we go. And nice! Oh, did not mean to smack my mic. So very sorry about that. Alright, there we go finished all three of the missions. And now we can exit the dungeon because we finished all of our goals. Bam. <laughs> I kind of wish it said jobs, plural, because we did do multiple, but oh well, we'll take it. A weather lock orb. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but it sounds cool. And then a little money. This gave us a a silver dojo ticket. Not sure what that does either. And some more money. And the last one gives us Violent Seed, All Protect Orb, and some money. Very nice. I'm not exactly sure what an All Protect Orb is, but I have a good feeling what it probably does. <laughs> Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you in the tomorrow. See ya. Did not mean to say see you in the tomorrow. <laughs> The next morning. Alright. I think this is where... It, or no! Is it gonna let us do another day of exploring before it cuts us off? Good morning, Crispu. Let's do our best today. Oh, no, no, no. Here it is. Huh? What's going on? Tunnel over there. Tunnels everywhere. Yahoo! Digging is so much fun! Uh, I'm... Where am I? Huh? What's going on? Oh, my apologies. My name is Diglett. I was having a blast digging tunnels everywhere in front of Pelipper Post Office. So much that I kept digging and ended up out and ended up here. I'm sorry I ruined the night your nice place. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's just all. Are you saying you, you will forgive me? Too many holes might annoy others, so don't dig too many. Of course. Thank you. From now on, I'll have fun digging. 
but I'll also make sure to patch up the holes from time to time. Goodbye. Alright, we got a mail delivery. Let's go check that out. Alright, looks like we get to do a little bit more. Ah! We got... This is some of the... Um, what is it? The Pokemon mail that he was talking about. Oh, cool. A couple bronze dojo tickets. Interesting. Cool. Basic Pokemon mail. No jobs, unfortunately, though. Alright. Let's see. Stick to the jobs posted at the bulletin board. Alright. Well, looks like we get to do another day. Uh, let's do... Uh, what's up? What happens if I talk to this little dig little... Oh! Oh! I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do we got now? So we got another three over here. To deliver a Rost Berry. Help the client and help the client. Fierce Bandana. That sounds like a useful item. Reviver Seed is also a useful item too, though. Hmm. But I want to double or triple even up on as many things as possible. Let's go ahead and stop by these places first. I like to save up a lot of my money and items in these games. And what's nice is, like I said, I'll eventually be able to transfer over my save to the main game. And I think it lets you play the, um, the two levels that you do get access to. So, Thunder Wave Cave and Tiny Forest. I think you can play those, like, as many times as you want, really. Okay, we don't have a Rostberry in here, do we? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Let's see. I don't know if... I can't remember if we need one. Can I buy one from Kecleon? No. I can't. Why is this so cheap? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go do these quests. <clears throat> Alright. Three more missions in Thunder Wave Cave. Ooh, and this is the boosted one this time, so we'll get a ton of rewards. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's see. So we need to try to find... Oh, I see. I see how that works. Alright. Let's fight you. I like that it has Lightning Rod. That's very handy. Uh, yeah, so Strength is upgraded now. Making it even better. When it was already my best move. So, that's very handy. Alright, am I gonna find a Rostberry at any point? Or does it just, like, magically give me one? Do I ha just have one in my bag all of a sudden? For the mission? No, I don't. So, if I don't get a Rostberry, I might not be able to finish that quest? I'm not sure. We might not be able to finish one of them. Oh, here's a Rostberry right there. Okay, and that's the Sunkern. Okay, so we grab this Rostberry, and then bring it over here to Sunkern. Perfect. Yes. Nice. Cool. Nice. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Never mind what I was just saying literally like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> nice. Sun current is out of here. And no, I would like to stay. Thank you. Let's head over here. Gonna have to fight you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm used to it being uh, L, not ZL, because I've been playing on the the DS games, it is L, not ZL. Well, because there is no ZL on the DS. <laughs> That's kind of frustrating that um, my partner levels up, like, significantly faster than me. Like, how much XP do I still need to level up? I still need another 58 XP to level up. That's so dumb. Why do I level up so much slower? Alright. 
<clears throat> well, then we have another mission on this floor. Alright, they're a little ways away from us. I wish I had something that I could hit you with from over there, but unfortunately I don't. <clears throat> Go ahead and walk up this way. Ah, let's see. Ooh, I'm glad that missed. Um, I'm gonna use bullet punch. I wanna see what, try to get that leveled up a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Come down here, which obviously we don't want to go in there. I need a drink real quick, I'm sorry. Ah, there we go. Much better. All right, is your paralysis gonna wear off? Oh, sure. Okay, let's see. We'll take you out. <clears throat> oh, you dropped a treasure chest. Get out of here. I want that treasure chest. Nice. Did it say that I need to open it inside of the dungeon? Is that what it said? No. Wait, what? I don't know. Ah, open it once you leave the dungeon. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, let's see. We'll get over here. Talk to you. Nice. Get you out of here. Very nice. <clears throat> cool. And we would like to continue because we have one last job request. Very nice. Come over here. And I'm pretty sure after this day, it uh, starts the... Uh, it unlocks the area we cannot go to. So, yeah, this should be... I think this will be the last exploration. I kind of want to go up here and grab this item, even though we literally spawned with uh, the target. That's one thing that uh, is kind of uh, interesting... <laughs> about this game is it tells you where all of the items and enemies and everything is except for the stairs uh just before you found them none of the other mystery dungeon games do that <laughs> they only tell you if you found them already oh geez drop my attack a bunch well good thing there's two of us hey nice got that level seven very nice cool all right, let's come down here, get you out of here. Ooh, another treasure chest, oh, very cool. Take you out. Treasure? No, sad. All right, well, we got two treasure chests. Go ahead and leave this dungeon this time. Ooh, excuse me, all right. Yes, we'll leave now. There. Bam. Ooh, dojo tick two dojo tickets. Okay, cool. Nice. All the items went to storage. Or I guess those two dojo tickets are what went to storage. Let's see. Got a Pesha berry and some money. Very nice. Mm -mm. Storage orb. Hmm. I don't know what that does. I'm curious. I have a feeling I know what it does, but yeah, interesting. Now, this is what I was like. This is what I was going for. Fierce bandana sounds useful. Definitely gonna have to check out what that does. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna do that every time. <laughs> ah, yeah. Here we go. Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake. Whoa, it's getting worse. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... The next morning. Um, hello? Hello? 
Uh, are you Chris Boo? Aren't you? You are Chris Boo, aren't you? Oh, you can't see us, of course. How rude of us. How very rude of us. We are pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Last night, during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. What? Diglett? He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb up somewhere so high. That's why we must call upon you for our help, Crispin. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. A vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. That was so sudden. There was no time to even say no. But I'm concerned th to hear that Diglett has been kidnapped. It's too bad. I better go. Good morning, Chris Boo. Huh? You were just asked to go on a rescue mission? Yes. Our child Diglett was kidnapped. He was taken to Mount Steel's summit. Please, we need your help. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Wait, Diglett was the one digging holes here, right? This kidnapping is worrisome. Let's go. Alright, so unfortunately that is where we are going to have to wrap it up for today, but I can still enjoy, I think I can play the other couple of levels over again as well, but we cannot go to Mount Steel sadly, but yeah, that is going to be it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's kind of long, I uh, hope you enjoyed my silly goofy voice acting, and yeah, uh, if you want to see more of this game once I eventually get the full version, Make sure to let me know in the comments. If you want to see some shiny hunting in the full version, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, I will see you all. Oh yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, hit the bell too. All that good stuff. Almost forgot. How, how could I forget? Uh, but yeah, I will see you all in the next video or stream that you tune into.